Symphony High Rise at the corner of Kapilani and Ward is on track to open next spring. 90% of the units already sold. Crews have installed glass up to the 35th floor. Just a few stories remain. But it turns out that glass doesn't meet the proper standard for how much light passes through the pane. It's what engineers and architects refer to as VLT, visual light transmission. The developer, Oliver McMillan, is hoping to get a waiver because it shows darker, more reflective glass to keep the units cooler. More privacy, better energy efficiency. Unfortunately, we can't achieve that with glass that's 50% VLT or greater. So that's why we chose the glass that we did. Some Kakako residents say there shouldn't be any waiver. They say all you have to do is look around. We're building more buildings with mirrored surfaces. The concentration of light will be much greater in certain areas of downtown. And I think because of that, the heat index is going to rise to a point where it's going to be uncomfortable for area residents and visitors alike. HCDA says the whole reason behind the rule change was to avoid buildings like this one. You know, the dark Darth Vader look. In the case of the glass in the Symphony High Rise, the mistake wasn't caught until a competitor flagged it and HCDA checked. It's really important to understand how you are going to enforce it. Um, you know, especially if it's something that's not applied to um, other buildings outside of Kakako, and this is something brand new. HCDA staff maintains there isn't a conflict in the new Malka area rules, but the board also learned that the new glass rule doesn't really cut glare, and its consultant is suggesting a redo. If sustainability and energy efficiency is really important, then we may want to take a look at you know, reviewing the VLT and coming up with a parameter that balances energy savings with the other elements that we are trying to achieve. So it could be back to the drawing board on the new glass rule. HCDA is scheduled to make a decision on the Symphony High Rise waiver on August 5th. Catherine Cruz, KITV4 News.